So today we're going to look at how to unpack those pack files from Minecraft Dungeons. So I'm going to be showing you two ways of extracting the .pack files. The first way is going to be using UModel. To do this we need to navigate to Gilda's homepage. I'll put the link in the description and then we click download link and then the Win32 version. Once we've downloaded this we can then move this to where we want it stored. So you need to make a folder where, where you want it and then extract it within that. So here is the zip so you need some way of opening zip files. I'm going to put it into a folder I've made called Dungeons Modding. I'm going to extract it and I'm going to go extract to here. Right, we don't want the zip anymore. Let me just rename that, get rid of that. Right. So here is UModel Win32. So you need to go into this and then you're going to need to click UModel.exe. So this is essentially a viewer to view Unreal Engine objects and things. Right, so we need to find out where the path to the game files are. Now, you extracted all that in the previous video, or if you have done already, to where the .pack files are. So on my um, system, it's D games, and then it is under 1.9.3.0, then it's dungeons, and then it's content, and then it's PAKS, so packs, and then in there you've got that mods folder where you put your mods when you're running custom mods. So you don't need to go into there, literally here where it's blank, this actual folder actually holds all the pack files, it just doesn't show it. So click select folder. So next you need to decide what view import export you want to do um, and things I'd leave it all default you don't need to worry about that click OK and now you're going to need a AES key so the files are actually encrypted now on the uh, Doku discord you can actually find the latest keys they'd go around and they get them all um, I've already got them here so I'll put this also in the description but it does update mostly every update sometimes it doesn't sometimes it does this key is actually a, for a version previous to 1.9.3 but it still works for 1.9.3 because they have the devs haven't updated it so copy that key go back to the box where it asks for the key click OK and here we go we've got all of our content up for dungeons so this is everything in here that the engine holds everything that's been compressed so the only thing we need to mod the game is the actual game directory. We don't need anything else. So it's all here. So all we need to do is right click on this and go export folders contents. Now before we start mucking around with this, it may be worth setting up another folder in the file system that we've generated. So in here, and then if we go new, new folder, and we call it um, exports, because that's essentially what we're doing. And then because dungeon updates now again we want to make sure we've got running the right version so we want to go um you can go u model and then 1.9.3.0 click enter so we're going to essentially put it into this here so i need to go into where it says choose a package again and we can go here but i know where it is so it's not there it will be there that's where I want to do it so make sure you select the folder of where you want to extract it to so I've selected my folder now this is where we've got to change sort of things do we, we want the meshes to be a PSK and PSKX we also don't want the texture format PG TGA we want it to be PNG now it's got other ones here I wouldn't worry about it unless you know what you're talking about but just leave it and then press OK this will go through and it should extract everything within that game folder into the folder here that you've asked it to so once you click OK it comes up with it is found that it doesn't know what version you want now you need 4.22 if you click anything else it might not work so 4.22 is the game version that dungeons runs on so click OK and here we go, it's extracting all the packs, it's doing it all and going through it all. It takes a little bit of time, I mean there's 37,867 files. So I'll let that run and I'll be back in a minute. So Umeral has finished extracting all the game files because the dialog box has gone for that. And if we go back to the folder here for the Xbox Umeral 1.9.3.0, we can see that it has engine, it has game. Even though we didn't extract engine, it still does it. 
<coughs> it's not a problem just ignore it so under game we have all these here these are all the files in here we have the actors so we have the characters enemies friendlies navigator player so enemies then you've got all the enemies here which is like quite a few for the uh, default so we've got the baby zombie and his baby zombie model and things and we've also got enderman so because we extracted the png we can actually see what it is so nine times out of ten the t underscore name is going to be the actual texture for that character there you go we can see here there's the enderman texture so this enables you to be able to mod the files and then put them back into game with use of other programs. At the moment, we're just looking at extracting these files. So the next one we're going to look at is BMS. Now, BMS is a bit more complicated or can be than a U model. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to go into exports and then we're going to go new, new folder and we're going to go BMS. 1.9.3.0 so once we have this set up I'm just going to go back here and we're going to make a new folder called bms I'm going to go into that so now navigate to i'll put the link in the description navigate to basically it's dungeonworkshop.net they were doing a whole host of series of how to mod dungeons but i don't think anyone's working on it at the moment i could have that wrong but anyway, it's here, it's under creating mods and it's called using quick BMS. So we need to download quick BMS is the first thing. So the file request can be downloaded here. That's downloaded. And then we also need to download the dungeon script. So dungeon scripts downloaded, downloaded. Right, so let me move them over. So that's the next thing is to find the locations and move them into BMS because that's where they're going to live. and. So there's the dungeons.bms and here is the quick BMS. Just rename that to the zip. We're then going to extract the zip file to a quick BMS, just like we did with the new model. So we have three things. We can delete that now. We don't need it. Unless you want to store it somewhere for later, just in case you lose it or whatever. So the next thing we need to do is you need to make sure the script is up to date. So if we open the uh, script in Notepad, we can see here that the key that it's currently using is 1.2.0.0 so that's totally out of date it's this key here so we need to go back to where our key is which is should be here key we need to highlight the key copy it and then we need to go back to our text file which is uh, somewhere so much open right here and then what we're going to do is we're just going to overwrite this and we're just going to change that to 1.9.3.0 we're then going to save that so i've saved that so the reason it won't use this key is because it's got a hashtag next to it and that means it it's a comment it, it ignores it so and this one hasn't so this is the one that we wanted to use i mean you could copy that and then paste it again and then so you've got all the keys but this one is absolutely fine so we can close that now we also we don't need this one here so we can go back to bms we know that the dungeons bms is absolutely fine go into quick bms and you can see it here so the next thing that we need to do is we need to run i always run the four gig file one so i'm going to run that as administrator run as administrator you probably couldn't see that because it's gone off the screen a little bit so it's come up like this it's come up saying select bms script so our script is up one and it's in dungeons here so we click open and then you've got to read up the top here it says select input archive file type star for the whole folders and subdirectory so what we need to do is you need to navigate back to where our file system of the pak's are p yeah pak's are so i need to go to um got this pc uh, the games dungeons 1.9.3.0 and dungeons and then content and then packs so what i tend to do is highlight them highlight them all so it's all those packs and click open now i need to select the folder that it's going to put them into so this is our folder that we made before this folder is exports bms 1.9.3 3.0 so I'm here I'm just gonna go back to here I'm then gonna put this in here and this is where it's going to extract all the files too so I click save then hopefully 
go back to this it's extracted them all now this takes ages sometimes it might pop up and ask you to confirm some things so keep an eye on it i haven't had any real issues with it so you should be absolutely fine but i'll be back as soon as this is done So that takes a little bit longer than the new model one does, but it extracts everything into into the files from like yeah yeah it's just a lot more in depth, a lot more things uh, going on. Um, but anyway, once that is done, you press enter to close the window and quit. So now we can look at the file system here, and everything is is uh, exported and done. So hopefully, yeah. But it's all done in like U model things and things like that. So you still need more in depth things to be able to play with them. So anyway, this probably concludes the whole video. Um, how to extract the game files into BMS and U model. Um, you'll probably end up using U model more than anything else. That's what I tend to do. But anyway, it was the end goal was to teach you how to extract in both methods, and hopefully you've learned something. So don't forget to subscribe for more content coming soon, and don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Uh, the more thumbs I get, and the more comments, the more things I get, the better it is, and the more that I'm finding people are actually gaining from these videos. So if you've got any comments, please let me know, and I'll do my best to help. But until next time, thanks for watching.